On the morning of uh, December 16th, 1995, I was dispatched about one minute to 10 in the morning uh, to a location on the upper Provo River. The report of a uh, deceased person found along the Provo River. In discovering uh, some of the evidence in the area, like uh, wounds to her body, it had definitely had appeared that she was murdered in this location. She took quite a beating from the looks of things with granite rock, which is a very rough, pointed, jagged type of stone. Uh, very, we found two different rocks that happened to have what appeared to be body matter, uh, as well as blood uh, on these rocks, and some very large stones that had quite a bit of blood on them that appeared to have been used after she had been down, which had been dropped on her skull. To begin with, we had, we had worked this case for a couple of years with not coming up with a whole lot of good leads. I mean, we had several leads, but that took us from Washington State to South Dakota, uh, but nothing really panned out that great. It wasn't until 2009 when then Detective uh, Wayne Winterton had heard about some new evidence techniques to be checked with Sorensen Forensic. The, the stones were taken to Sorensen Forensic and the science and, and everything that was gathered and collected there, we realized we had uh, uh, some information that we knew then that was a solvable case. One thing led to another and we was directed to a company uh, by the name of MVAC. I was watching the local news and seeing a, an article that they had on there of the MVAC and it was a new way to collect DNA off of different materials at a crime scene. So I contacted Karma at Sorensen Forensics and asked her if she had heard of the MVAC and she said, well yes, we have one. And I says, great, could we MVAC the, the rocks that we had initially uh, swabbed? And she says, sure, it's a, whatever you'd like to do. So we sat down and, and as a team and, and talked about it and we thought we'll send the rock down that had the partial DNA profile on it along with the additional two rocks that had never been tested that had been collected from the crime scene in 1995. Um, they went ahead and used the MVAC to do the testing and they came back with a, a male DNA profile, a full male DNA profile that matched that of Joseph Michael Simpson. So we were really excited about, about this because now we had a full uh, DNA profile off of what we considered was one of the murder weapons that had killed Crystal at the scene. Ultimately it made her made the case and I, I believe that Mr. Simpson's in prison today due large part to the MVAC system. Obviously some good police work but but solid case because of the MVAC system. It was only because we were able to to collect uh, the amount of DNA from the rocks, uh, from that porous surface, which a swab isn't going to get to, um, and the MVAC was able to get to, um, it was only because of that that we had the profile that allowed us to prosecute this case. And I truly believe that without the knowledge that uh, the individuals who put the time and effort into creating such a sensitive forensic piece of equipment such as the MVAC, uh, this case would never have been solved.